so what is urdf urdf is stands for unified robot description format so basically this is a format that is being used for defining robots okay so it is in the form of xml and it is defined for multi-body multi-body means a robot has so many bodies that's why it's called multi-bodies and it has information like inertia mass collision and so other things that are very responsible for defining a mechanical property of a robot so what is an xml format so everything that start with this tag angular bracket and ends with a slash and angular bracket that's called that's comes under an xml format okay so xml format in urdf we basically use two formats one is single line so this is a tag so you, what you're seeing over here is a tag start from here and this is a tag that's name is link and it has some variable and its value okay same way single line and it ends like this if you write want to write in a multi line you target a tag and you do not end it over here rather you end it on the end and end like this so this is an example of this this is a link that start over here and ends over here like this same way visual start over here and ends over here like this and you can see there is also one that is single line tag origin is a single line tag so it's and starting from here and it's ending on a single line so this is a combination of those two formats that you will find in a urdf okay so now let's talk about how the urdf tag looks like and what are their meanings so this is is something called tag link is a tag visual is a tag origin is a tag and you can understand from the name itself link means it's a name link is a tag for a link so what is a link something like this is a link so two three links forms a robot so every object in robotics is called a link so its name so basically we are defining its name so this name is base link okay now visual so something that is visible so you can see this is visible so that's why its name visual and there are also collision so what will we mean by that collision means that something that's defined for colliding objects so we'll be discussing all those in few further and this is origin origin means for defining the axis r y rpy means rotation about x y z and this is the linear distance covered in x y z so this is very easy to understand you can directly read the tag and understand geometry means something that's defining the range of a uh, length of an uh, link okay so this is a file name for mesh you can read from here this is the location for the mesh mesh is triangular meshes that form a link so this is how this mesh look like this is an exported from an software okay designing software and this scale is scaling in x y and z direction okay how much you want to scale in x y and z so geometry tag x over here material tag is single line tag and this is the color that's coming from then this material tag name silver so i hope you understood this how the tagging thing works now the important thing is let's try and understand something important about the origin so let's first take a link and name it base link and this is the format of links in this so this is the color blue for z green for yellow and red for y x axis so i've just taken this part of this to explain you what is this origin about okay actually the code is is very long the xml tag is long but i've just taken this part to explain you what is this so this is the name and visual okay that is visible and rpy is rotation by x y z and this is x y z distance in x y z so basically what is this so there is something called object axis but this is not this distance okay that's very important there is, a, there is a very misconception between people that they do not understand the difference between object axis and this origin axis okay so what is an object axis this is an axis that is being defined when you are exporting a exporting a link from any designing software like blender or something so basically when you are exporting then you will find a link that is being exported about an axis okay so there is an origin defined in that so this is that origin okay 
so it could it's not sure that it would always be in the center it could be on the right hand side it could be on the left top anywhere it could be or on y axis over there okay so it could be anywhere so this comes from when you export a object from an software okay it could be blender fusion 360 or some other modeling software but what is this then so this is actually origin tag is something is the offset distance is the offset distance from the object axis so object axis how much distance this goes that is this distance so this is the offset that the distance covered by this in x y z and this rotation is the distance the rotation from this to this okay so rotation about x in this direction like that it is being defined so right now this is 0 0 0 that means this actually lies over here so this is something like this okay so both of them object axis and origin axis is on the same line because that's 0 0 0 now take a next example to explain you now let's assume that when we are exporting it from an modeling software our object axis were on this direction and we want our origin of the link to be on the center of this so what we'll be doing we'll be firstly measuring the distance covered so in x direction it covers a distance of 3 cm okay by mistake i've written it y direction but it would be actually x direction so it would be z on this it would be 0 0.03 okay and this would be just 0 now how this 0 0.03 comes I, as i said you this is the offset distance so this is the how much distance this so for to define origin from object axis what we have to cover is we have to move 3 centimeters in uh, in object axis about 3 meters from the object axis so we'll be moving 0 0.03 so basically this is in meters okay so everything defined all the lens in urdf is in a uh, standard format okay so this is converted from centimeter to meter that's why it becomes 0 0.03 okay so it's in x axis okay so this is 0 0.03 and this is 0 0 and this is 0 so now we came to our set we'll be able to set this on our 0 0 0 on the center of our opt link so this is how things works on this i hope you got some idea from this the types of joints let's talk about what are the types of joints so there are basically many types of joint that you can go on the link and read but we'll be discussing only four because those are the four joints that will be able to use while exporting fusion to urdf okay so the first one is fixed joint and that you can see, see over here two bodies are joined in such a way they can't move okay like you fix it that's called fixed joint and there is some other joint called prismatic joint prismatic so that is when your second object can move on first object in a linear direction okay like this so there is something also you can see upper limit and lower limit so basically you can see there is an end to it so this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit okay similar concept in continuous and revolute joint so revolute joint is a joint that has this revolve about a fixed axis so this is axis and it's revolving about this axis if we fix the lower and upper limit that's called revolute joint if there is no limit then uh, then it's called continuous joint so in suppose i consider it like this it is from zero and it it will be rotating till only 45 degrees okay so this so this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit okay so then it becomes a revolute joint and if there is no limit then it would be a continuous joint so continuous joint is basically used for waves because there are no limits for in the wheel it can rotate entire 360 and revolute joint are basically used in a robot arm links okay next thing is let's define two links one we call it space link and the same the visual tag is there we define the origin we assume that while exporting 
our object axis is at the center of the robot so we are just using 000 and we are not doing any offset and all those things to define to let our object be at the center and then this is a geometry tag scale and material same for the link to so link to we have exported in such a way that its orientation got changed so it was in this orientation and this is in this orientation and it's also in the center so that's why we are defining x y z as 0 0 0 and and its rotation about x y z also 0 0 0 and this is the location from where this mesh file is being loaded scale is the same thing material and geometry so you are seeing all the links are being defined the same way link 1 link 2 the link 1 was defined same way just the name got changed link 2 also defined the same way let's move forward we want to join these two links base link and the link 2 okay now i'll be joining this so we'll be using a tag called join tag so name so name will be naming it so that's name would be revolute and type is continuous now we discuss the three types now this continuous so there is no limit okay so origin so this is also one origin so you are seeing this origin and how we define this suppose we want to join them in such a way that this 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 origin is something you have to read something like this so that is basically from joint to to base link or from joint to the base link so the distance from joint to the base link so if you want to join in such a way that there is some gap between them so how will we calculating that first we'll be defining this about z axis we want to get it somewhere up at the z axis so distance in z axis of base link is 2 meters distance of this from the end of this is 3 meters so this become 5 and we want a gap of 1 so total in z axis from the link 2 to link 1 the distance is 6 meter from link 2 to base link that's very important read it always like this so you do not get confused if you want to rotate it then it would be from rotation from link 2 to link 1 that is base link okay so that's why it is being converted from centimeters to meter and this is the value over here now there is some concept called parent child this is also very important so what you are seeing over here is a parent so basically this link is the parent this is the base link okay and this is the child link so this is link 2 because we named this link 2 okay so this is the link 2 and its name is child link so who is the parent this is the parent and this is the child and this is joined by a revolute joint at this rotation and at this distance okay so this is basically the parent link and this is the child link and this distance we calculate from the child link to the parent link okay now we discuss this and what's the use of this axis so basically this axis tag is being used to define about which direction it is going to rotate so this is about z direction means this will be rotating like this about z direction it will be rotating because this z is blue color and you can see it will be rotating about z that's why x y z value we made it to 1 okay same way if you make this one and this 0 then it will rotate about this this y axis that's in front that's not visible away that's it will rotate about y axis so i hope you understood this concept now if you want to have no gap between this so what we'll be doing we'll be doing something like this we'll just add on these two values 3 and 2 and we make it 0 0.05 so this will be joining like this and it will rotate about this axis so you see one important thing over here when you really do in practice what you have to do you have to every time change this value to get how closely this comes okay so you have to take it firstly 6 then 5 maybe 4 then 2 then see how is things are getting close to it so that we leave no gap over here and join the two things properly so see how complicated it becomes firstly you have to define the length we have to define how far it is from x y z direction how far it's from rotation then define all those things 
So this is the one of the reason that we are using a plugin to do all the things, not writing this manually. Okay. Now let's see one of our video. Now you see this is the link that we have used, and this is the base link. You can see name over here. This is the link to. And when we will be moving this, then you will be able to see this joint moving. Right now, this revolute joint. You remember we named it revolute joint, and this value is zero at present. Once we start moving this, this is getting changed in the form of a radian. So minus three to three because there is no limit now. So that's why it can rotate from minus three sixty to plus three sixty. You can see this getting rotated. Now let's talk about one more concept. If suppose on in the place of axis we define to make two of them as one, or if you make five, six, any value. But just a positive value that means it will be something like this. Okay, if you make a negative, then it will rotate on a negative direction, and if you make it positive, it will rotate on a positive direction, clock and anti clockwise. But now, see the important thing is we have defined two as positive directions. So, what is going to happen? So, this is very interesting. So, which axis are this z axis and x axis? So so this is going to neither rotate on z not on x rather a resultant of this so it will rotate like this something like this it will rotate something like this so now let's see it from a video the same thing this is an rvs okay so if you are going to read the optional part of this where we'll be talking about ROS, then we'll talk about rvs and all the things related to those as for visualizing it now we are changing this direction you see this is not rotating in neither in x axis not in z axis rather it's rotating in a resultant axis of both so this is how complicated it became so from so far if you see properly you have to define the axis properly you have to define this x y values properly you have to define the parent and child if there is some plugin that does the work for us why not to use it so that's why we are going to learn this method of using the plugin directly to convert a design from fusion 360 to directly to this urdf so it will be writing all this by itself so there is code behind it that will be talking in further videos okay and we do not need to write this don't worry so it is a good news for you so that's it for this video